today I'm about to go on my very first solo overnight hike. Currently, I'm in the parking lot of Joffrey Lakes Trailhead in Joffrey Lakes Provincial Park, which is just past Pemberton in BC. I've always wanted to try a solo hike, so I'm going to attempt it today. I finally worked up the courage. Uh, it took me a few weeks of like chickening out before I actually actually just pack my bags and head up here. I'm just gonna bring you over here. I'm all packed already. I'm just gonna put you down and we'll quickly chat about why I chose this trail for my first solo overnight. Let's just get this situated here. You see me, you hear me? Okay, good. I chose Joffrey Lakes for my very first solo overnight hike be for three reasons. One, it is kind of a busy, it's, well, it's a super busy trail. You'll probably see lots of people in this video. Two, I've done it before many times, so I'm familiar with the layout, I know what to expect, I know how long it's gonna take me. And three, it's relatively short. It's seven and a half kilometer round trip with about 500 meters of elevation gain. There's four reasons. The views. Honestly, this hike is one of the more beautiful in the area, so I wanna show you guys. Anyway, I've got everything packed up here in my backpack, ready to go. I've got my bear spray, super important. I've also got a satellite phone to check in with loved ones when I'm up there, and I have told said loved ones my trip plan, you know, when to expect me back, when I'll be up there, stuff like that. Uh, that's super important. Always let someone know when, where you're gonna be and when you're gonna be back when you're heading out into the back country, even when you're with friends. Oh yeah, one more thing, super important that you have to have. If you're doing a day trip or even back country, you have to have a reservation, either a day pass if you're just here for a day trip, or a back country camping reservation through the website. I'll link that all here for you to check out. All right, we're all set. Look at this thing. I don't think I've ever actually had to carry all my stuff by myself. I've always had someone else to split the weight with, so we'll see how this goes, but it's actually not too bad. I think I packed pretty light. Let's go. Users must have a day pass or a camping permit. I've got mine, but there's no one here to check, so let's go. Starting here, I'm gonna follow the trail to the middle lake, I'll show you that, and then I'm gonna camp right here for the night. Okay, so we've reached the main incline here. This is where it gets really steep for a little while, but honestly, it's not too long. I'm probably just gonna put this camera away for a bit and just like truck it up these stairs, and then I'll see you at the top and I'll be super, super sweaty. So let's go. Like that we have made it to the middle Joffrey Lake. I think this is probably one of my favorites. Look, you can see the reflection, it's so pretty. Okay, the rest of the trail to the campground is kind of like this, just Rudy and rocky through the forest. Anyway, almost at the campground. I'm gonna have to set up pretty quick because it's gonna get dark soon. I've officially made it to the third lake campsite. I found this little flat spot. Right here, the bugs are actually pretty bad. I'm so glad I brought the bug spray. I gotta put that on soon before I do anything else. Uh, but now I'm gonna set up my tent and then find a spot to make dinner and then just chill out for the rest of the night till sunrise. Yeah, like, oh my God, the bugs are so bad. Bug spray first. Off. Get off, seriously. Okay, camp is all set up now, and I've situated myself away from my campsite to make some food, 
just quickly because it's getting dark and I'm not even that hungry, but I've got like a mess here. Let me show you. <laughs> all right, I've got my food all in here along with my lantern. I might make one of these because they're small and pretty good. I feel like I can never eat those like bigger ones, the ones that have two servings. I'm just, unless I've hiked all friggin' day and I'm super tired. After I put my food in the storage lockers, then yeah, we wait for sunrise. Wake up here, beautiful. I think what my plan is, is I'm going to wake up super early, like right at sunrise and then pack up, hike around the lake, back to like the zone it's got a view of like this glacier up here. I've got water boiling. I decided I am gonna make this because I want some hot food. And I'm gonna have a little bedtime tea. I brought with me this CBD tea. It's got 10 milligrams of THC and it just knocks me right out. I've dropped my food in the bear bin, safe and sound for the night, and now I'm making one, hopefully one trek to the outhouse. Because the outhouse is like surprisingly far. Am I going the right way? Okay, yeah. The outhouse is probably one of the further outhouses from camp that I've ever been to at a campground. Oh my God. Yeah, hopefully it's my only one time because I'm just gonna hold it otherwise. It'd be so scary in the middle of the night. <laughs> oh my God, it's so scary. back to camp There's some lights there uh, this is spooky one last thing that I'm doing for before bed is I'm boiling some water to put in my Nalgene then I put that in my sleeping bag and I say toasty warm food is locked up in here and my water is hot so it's time for bed I'm sweet home for the night it's so cozy all comfy cozy in my tent, sleeping bag, wool layers to keep warm. Night. Morning. I slept in a little bit today. I woke up for sunrise and it was like really windy. So I was not down with that. Ooh. Don't want to get up, but I'm going to get up because I'm hungry and it's time to hike out. Let's see what it looks like outside here. So now I'm gonna go filter some water and get my breakfast. And I'll see you back here in a minute. Okay, I'm back, I got the goods. Let's go eat breakfast. Breakfast today will consist of some oatmeal. I've got two of them. I'm gonna have maple and brown sugar and apple and cinnamon. Something like that is a good, just add water. An apple, a little fruit bar thingy, and of course, coffee. I'm gonna mix this Starbucks instant with one of these like Nescafe mochas for a little treat. And I like to relax. Okay, so I'm making some progress here with packing. Kind of got everything organized. Gonna put it in here. And then the next thing to do, pack up the tent. Officially all packed up. Backpack's ready to go. Took one last nice view. It's time to head out. Goodbye. Thank you, Draw for Your Lakes. I made it down to the middle lake. I was taking a quick break before heading down. I was gonna try my luck at walking on the log over here, but there's like a ton of tourists waiting for their turn, so I think I might just skip it this time. Don't know how much more filming I'll do, because I think I'm just gonna try to get down there as fast as possible, but I will see you at the car. Completed my very first solo overnight. Let's uh, just put you down here and I'll take my backpack off and then uh, we can chat about how it went. Okay, so thoughts on my first solo backpacking trip. I loved it. I loved just being alone in nature. I wasn't too scared because I picked Joffrey Lakes, so there was 
you know, there was a lot of campers around me uh, most of the time. I did have my reoccurring bear dream that I've talked about in other videos where like a bear tries to come into my tent and it's absolutely terrifying. I always wake up and I just can't get back to sleep. But other than that, it was really great. If I learned one thing from this experience is just start early. Depending on what your objective is, obviously, if you're a super fast hiker and you're not taking photos or you're not trying to film yourself, then start whenever you want to start. But for me, I found it took me a lot longer filming myself and stopping for photos. I could have easily made it to the campground in two hours, but it took me around three yesterday because of all the stops. If you go on solo overnight trips and have any advice for me, I'd love to hear it. Drop it in the comments. I'd be super grateful for that. Otherwise, just give me a thumbs up if you like this video, turn on your notifications, and drop anything you want in the comments, like even if you just want to say hi, or maybe there's like a weird dream that you always have. I want to hear about it. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I hope that I will see you in the next one. Thank you.